and I am going to be your host during the event. And right before I would uh, ask one of Bosch um, to the stage, I would have a few questions to you. Do you know how many times uh, we are organizing a hackathon for Bosch? Third? Any other tips? You were right. This is the third hackathon with Bosch. And uh, is there any of you that have ever attended a Bosch hackathon before? Maybe last year? Yes, I can see your t-shirt from last year. OK. I don't have any voice on the stream, so we will wait a little bit. OK. They can hear me now, right? OK. Perfect. So you have attended the Bosch hackathon last year, right? OK. And uh, is there any of you who have attended a Craft Hub hackathon before, like Junction S Budapest, there, or Craft Hack? Nice. OK, this is such a nice number. I hope that you will come back for other hackathons in the future as well. So right now, I would like to ask to the stage Adam Wittmann from Bosch. He is a product owner at the company, and he also wants to welcome you. Hey guys, so I would like to welcome you in the name of Bosch. So it's quite good to see so many guys here, so many girls here, uh, ready for doing some coding, doing some hardware challenges. So uh, as Wanda mentioned, this is the third time that we are organizing this hackathon together with Craft Hub. And the goal is not actually a secret. We want you to know that Bosch is doing all the software, not only just the vacuum cleaners or the drills, which you will have a chance to experience actually today. But we are also doing heavy software. There are more than 1,300 software developers in Budapest. And we are heavily in automotive, but not only in automotive, but several other kinds of industries. So uh, today's challenges are also reflecting them. One of them is a classical automotive. We are struggling with such kind of stuff basically every day. So you will get a glimpse into what we are doing. Probably it's not always the funniest, but uh, it's quite interesting. And the other challenge, the hardware challenge, there it's a bit more like uh, you can grab it in the hand, you can grab it and you can play with it, but Istvan will tell you a bit more about it. So uh, yeah, I hope you will enjoy it here in the next 24 hours. Uh, yeah, so uh, have fun. And in case there is any questions, then. We are mentors up there, so you can approach us anytime when you catch us not busy or not in the call. Thank you. Thank you, Adam, for the welcoming. And now the boring part is coming because I will tell you a little bit about the operative part of the event. So I have a nice presentation, hopefully. I'm trying to, oh, okay. So uh, in a nutshell, there are some information about the event. So more than 500 people registered to the hackathon, which is a really great and huge number. And more than 100 people are here right now at the moment. So I'm really happy that we could meet you in person as well. And we are having um, also competitors online. So you will not be the only ones uh, competing during the event, but uh, you will have also online competitors as well. Um, these registrations came from more than 50 countries, which is really interesting. And uh, I've also collected some um, interesting educational field because not all, all of you are coming from the computer science uh, field, but there are people from human resources, uh, molecular bionics, mathematics, physics, chemistry, space engineering, medicine, and movie theory. So I have we I think we have a really mixed audience, but it's also a good thing because this means that a lot of you are interested in hackathons, and I hope that all of you will enjoy it, even if you cannot program or something. Um, let's move on, and hopefully I will find the right way to. So a little bit about the schedule. 
right now the opening ceremony is happening and right after my I finish my speech uh, the two challenge owners will come to the stage and uh, introduce the challenges uh, after that we will have a little team formation uh, and I will have a question right now who is here alone who hasn't have a team yet everyone have a team wow Oh, you don't have one. Okay, then please come to the stage after the challenge introductions and we will find out who you can join or what to do with you. Um, the mentorings will start at 6, uh, we will have dinner at 8 and you will have to choose a challenge until 8 p.m. I will tell a little bit more about it later but let's see how tomorrow's will happen. So we will have a breakfast, mentorings will start at 9. Uh, lunch at noon and you will have to submit your final project by 2 p.m. Evaluation starts at 2.30 and the pitch is at 4.30 but a little detailed about tomorrow. <laughs> oh, no. So, as I mentioned, you will have to choose your challenge until 8 p.m. today. This means that you will have to go to Junction app create a draft project and choose the challenge that you will work on. You do not have to provide anything else, not a description nor the video, nothing else, just give a name to your project and choose the challenge, you know, the hardware or the software. Tomorrow you will have uh, 2 p.m. where you will have to uh, submit your final project, which will mean that you will have to submit the YouTube video, which can be only two minutes long. Please do not um, make it longer because the jury will take it seriously since they will have a limited time to evaluate all of the projects. We cannot accept uh, videos that are longer than two minutes. Uh, you will have to submit your GitHub repo or a source code and also a description about your project. Then we will have 30 minutes to prepare the judging sheets to the jury and they will start to evaluate your projects at 2.30 and they will have like one and a half hour to evaluate all of the projects. So please try to be, um, yes, um, just try to, try to submit your project until 2 p.m. because we will have a strict day to these. Um, we will inform the finalists at 4 p.m. on Slack, so they will have 30 minutes to upload their presentation. If you wish to present anything on the screen, you will have 30 minutes to upload your presentation in a Google Drive folder, and the live presentations will start at 4.30. Each team will have four minutes to pitch. After that, uh, the audience teams or mentors or juries can ask questions, and after the last pitch, we will uh, open the finalist voting, which will also happen on Junction app. For this, you will have around 15 minutes to make your votes, and then we will summarize them and announce the winners of the event, both the challenge winners and also the grand winner of the hackathon. Hopefully, we will finish by 6.20, I think, on Saturday. Yes, so since it is not a 48 hour long event, but a 24, uh, I would like to ask you to manage your time wisely and think through how to, how to plan your time, um, validate with the mentors uh, and finish your project by the deadline because uh, we won't be able to extend it. So it is really important to actually manage your time. Yes, and I mentioned that we will have mentors and you could already see them because we uh, shared the mentor directory with you on Slack. So I also saw that some of you have already booked sessions on the, uh, on the Booked For Us platform. So please uh, check if the mentor is here. They will be on the gallery and uh, you can go to them. But uh, do not um, talk to a mentor if you do not have any booked session because I think they will be really busy uh, mentoring you. So it's really important to actually book a session on Booked For Us so you will be secured to have a session with them. Yes, and we are going to have a jury uh, for each challenges. 
three for the software challenge and two people for the hardware challenge. Uh, some of them are also mentoring, so you can talk to them uh, and you can also uh, read more information about them in the directory if you wish. And about the prices, uh, we will have two challenge winners um, by the end of the event, one for each challenge and uh, the teams will uh, take home 3,000 euros and uh, the grand winner will win 5,000 euros and it can happen that uh, one team wins a challenge and after the grand prize as well and will take home 8,000 euros. So good luck because uh, you won't be a millionaire but um, almost that. <laughs> um, and about the platforms, but I, I'm sure that you already know them. We are having Slack as our main communication platform. We will share every important in, uh, information there with you. And uh, this is also really important for the online competitors. So if you have any question, use the Ask Anything channel. Uh, we are using Junction app for the registration, but it's over right now, and uh, for the project submissions. And uh, one thing that you um, should know that we won't use the Junction app this time for the gavel voting or something like that, because the jury will choose the finalist team. So for each challenge, we will have four teams to actually pitch on the stage. So you won't have to use the, the Junction app um, for evaluating, only for the finalist voting. And yes, we are having the book for us for the uh, mentor bookings. Uh, about the venue, um, you've got your badges. Please um, keep them, do not throw them out because this is how you can come back. Um, anyway, the venue is open um, during the whole night, so you can go out and come back anytime you want. We will have food uh, today, dinner, tomorrow breakfast and uh, lunch and some snack uh, for the afternoon. But um, it's important uh, to know that you can order only coffee for from the bar for free. So if you want to drink a Coke or I don't know what you can get from there, but you will have to pay for that. We are also having some water and some um, tea or something like that over there, so you can drink them for free and also the coffee and we will share some Red Bulls uh, at the night. But until then, if you want to drink anything else, you can ask it from the bar, but you will have to pay for it. Um, yes, uh, the Wi-Fi, as I mentioned, we are working on it, so you won't have any problem um, while you're uh, downloading any data set or something. But let us know if you have any problem with, with the internet connection and we will try to help you. And yes, you could see that we are having really cool games over there and uh, we would only like to ask you to not to cause any damage, but uh, hopefully all of you signed a paper at the registration that if you cause any damage, then you will be responsible for it. So please um, pay attention while using them. And um, you could see while coming inside that uh, there is a Bosch uh, booth and also a Craft Hub booth. Uh, if you want to talk to Bosch, uh, get to know the company a little bit better, um, inquire about job opportunities, you will find someone there um, almost uh, during the whole time. So talk to them, ask them questions about Bosch or about anything else. Um, and you can also come to our booth where you can um, fill out a form, win tickets for, for example, our next event, which will happen next week. Uh, this is a Compass Tech Summit. It's a five-in-one conference with topics like UX, UI, data, um, AI. So if you're interested in events like these as well, then come play with us and hopefully you will uh, win a ticket too. So this is about the companies and It's a really good game. You can never find the right spot for the first time. <clears throat> can we move on to the next slide? <laughs> or don't. And next, please. Yes. So uh, I've put some faces on this slide. 
So if you have any questions or need any help, you can find us. We are at the staff room <laughs> over there. Um, but yes, uh, you can also use the Ask Anything channel or can go to the Craft Hub booth as well. We will help you out with anything regarding the event, uh, the submissions, the evaluation, anything. And we are also wearing this cool new T-shirt just we ordered a few days ago. We have a stuff sign on it. So yes, uh, find us and we will help you out. And I think that this is all. And now this is the time for the interesting part of the ceremony because I will introduce two challenge owners to the stage. stage. First of all, what? We will have one minute break because we are having some trouble with the stream. But until then, I don't know. Do you know which challenge you will work on? Raise, raise your hands if you will work on the hardware challenge. Wow. OK. Hopefully, there will be more people. But you know, if there is only a few teams, they will have more chance to win that 3,000 euros. So the rest of you will work on the software challenge. Raise your hands if you will definitely work on the software challenge. OK? Hmm. OK? And raise your hands if you do not know yet which challenge you will work on. OK. OK. Nice. And um, did you have enough sleep last night? No. Why? What did you do? Studying, reading the challenges, right? Yes, I knew that. OK. OK. Um, another question and uh, some information. Please, can you be a little bit more quiet? You too. Thanks. So um, I can see that we are having, still having some teams that uh, haven't have a space yet. We will try to figure out where to um, sit you, but we are having like two places there. And uh, yes, we will, we will make more spaces. So can I get back the challenge introductions? I haven't prepared any jokes to you in case like this, so sorry about that. I'm trying to be funny, but that's not always succeed. Yeah. But if you have any jokes regarding software or hardware development, shoot me. No? You do not even pay attention to me, but OK. So. Hmm, I have another question. Uh, did you hear, hear about the Junction X Budapest in 2023, which will happen in the end of November? Raise your hand if you have already registered. Oh, nice. And those who hasn't, why not? OK, never mind. I will go to you one by one, so I will ask this question in person. But we are having stream again, and let's move on to the challenge introductions. And I would like to ask Krzysztof Dénes, software developer from Bosch, to introduce the software challenge. Hello, guys. Welcome. Uh, so my name is Krzysztof. I'm an automat automatic uh, emergency brake assist um, software developer and the feature owner of another safety system. Uh, yeah, OK. So the, the challenge will contain three parts. The first, uh, with each one, you will get a, um, you will allow to have a look about the software developer at Bosch, what we are doing at there. Uh, there will be uh, the first part is about the perceptual layer. They guys uh, 
they who work on perception they are creating the environment for the car how how the car uh, should detect the environment you will get in the csv uh, about a lot of data uh, about the uh, the vehicle speed for objects uh, what could be relevant or not uh, these are relatives for the ego vehicle uh, yeah you will get the the object speeds, the yaw rate of the ego vehicle, and the timestamps of, this, of these signals. The second part is the situation layer. Uh, for these, you just have to decide about the first part, which scenario happened. You got the description, and you, you found, I hope, that the three pictures. So the second part is just pick one of them, what is mentioned in the second part. I hope it's clear for you. Third part is the function layer. This is what we do, uh, or I do. Uh, you will have to create and implement about the first and the second part of the challenge, the reaction of the car. So you have to avoid the collision. So there will be an object, and there will be the car. Without this function layer, these these two will collide, and yeah, this could that could be critical. So your your task here is to avoid the collision. Okay, so the first part, uh, there will be a lot, as I mentioned, you have to create the environment, not just visually, but you have to create it. So, yeah, you just have these values and samples, and about that, you have to create all of these things. Uh, there will be only one relevant object, and there will be three which is not relevant. So you have to filter these out, and the deletion is not an option. So you have to figure out, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, you have to filter out these. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I put these things because uh, the the yeah the divinish. I, so you have to divide these uh, values because this is how is it was recorded in the car. But if you want to get these uh, units, you have to divide with these values. So please take a picture of that or write it down because this is not mentioned in the description. Okay, so as I mentioned in the second part is just pick one. So you have to pick A or B or C. So this is the, this is the task here, but for that you have to create the environment pretty much well, because if you don't, you, you won't be able to decide which scenario happened. And the third part is built for the previous two. So as I mentioned, uh, you have to avoid the collision. I put uh, a calculation how you can calculate the brake distance uh, of the of the vehicle but if you have any other ideas how to avoid the collision feel free to implement it so you don't have to yeah, deep dive into into physics and mathematics so yeah it's your choice how to avoid the collision but this is the this is the criteria for the third part i think that's it Good luck, have fun. I hope it you will enjoy it and I hope it won't be too hard, but yeah, it will be hard. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we are going to share the presentations with you on Slack, so do not worry if you haven't managed to take a photo of it, but uh, we will share it with you. And please, Istvan, uh, come to the stage. Please welcome Istvan Bosnai on the stage. He is a hardware lead engineer and he is going to introduce the hardware challenge. Hello everyone, Sziasztok. I will be introducing the hardware challenge. I hope so. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so a little boring part, but uh, have you known that Bosch has the second largest uh, innovation center in uh, whole Europe? So I think it's a really great thing. And uh, during this hardware challenge, we would like you to uh, be our next innovator. Uh, you might know Bosch uh, for automotive parts, for fridges, uh, washing machines, and so on. But today, we would like to, to innovate in the field of power, power tools. So what will be the challenge? This guy, so he's, he's the power uh, drill 12, 
and it's a it's a drill and it's a screwdriver and they would like you or the four teams who have already uh, decided uh, to go with the hardware challenge um, to come up with some ID any ID that can make this uh, screwdriver or drill better this can be anything a service a uh, hardware part anything Okay, so for example, you can add some hardware to the to the drill itself, an accelerometer, a distance meter. If you want to drill uh, ten cm centimeters into the uh, wall, then okay, you will add the distance meter. You can add anything on to the drill inside the drill. So we have a um, lot of uh, ideas as well. But you can also have IDs that uses this drill. For example, uh, you will put an RFID tag, and after the work, uh, the worker can put uh, the drill back to the van or to the storage, and it will automatically register um, how many drills have been put back to the to the truck. Anything. But if you want to be really creative, then you can make a, a kitchen tool out of this, or you can make an apple peeler. Anything. We would like to have or listen to your ideas and and just be creative and just have fun with this drill. Okay. So what uh, what will be your tasks? Since this is a hardware challenge, we would like to have um, a block diagram, a schematic of your your ID. Of course, we would like to have simulations if it's possible. So uh, if you are doing an apple peeler, don't uh, do the simulation for that. But if you are doing an accelerometer and, and uh, you are using a microcontroller, I would like to see some uh, simulations, maybe current calculations for that. Of course, documentations and firmware as well. So if uh, there are some willing software guys who would like to join the hardware challenge, then uh, this is your opportunity to uh, be a little creative and work with the hardware guys and uh, write some firmware. And of course, video, but you have all, of course, you have already seen this. And optional part, we have brought several drills and several components to the compound and uh, to your right or to your left, depends on where you see. Uh, we have brought a lot of hardware parts, accelerometers, um, distance sensors. We have also brought uh, welding sticks. We have uh, oscilloscopes. You can realize your ID here as well and show it to the jury and show it to everyone else. Uh, what have you done? So you can do it, and you can do for optional points, and uh, it will be it will be uh, graded by us, and you can get optional points besides these tasks. I think a lot. And of course, uh, you have to you have to show us our, your idea. Why is it good? Why is it good for the customer? Why is it good for for Bosch? Uh, how many new customers uh, you are uh, bringing to Bosch? And of course, uh, costs. Uh, what is the development cost? What is the the bill of material cost? And uh, most importantly, uh, have fun during the whole event. And if you have any question, just uh, ask us. Thank you, guys. Okay. Okay. Thank you both of you to introduce the challenges. And as Ishmael mentioned, there is a separated place where you can try these tools and actually work with them. Um, now we we reach the end of the opening ceremony, so you can start to work on your projects. But before I would. Um, Finish. I would like to ask uh, that guy who came alone to come here, and we will help you find a team for you. And yes, good luck uh, for the next 24 or something like that hours. If you have any questions, reach out to us, and um, let's see what tomorrow brings. And I hope that we will have a lot of great projects. So yes, have a great time, and see you tomorrow.